what's happening. This is Joshua Boetsy and you're watching Sports and Icons. Okay, so ever since Anthony Yard put on that very valiant performance against Arthur Betterbief, and he did, I thought he'd done fantastic, much better than what I thought he was going to do. And I'm very proud of him, of course, as a fellow Brit. Now, I've seen a lot of people here on YouTube in the comment section of videos on social media, Twitter and that. And of course, I've seen a couple of uploaders as well here on YouTube comparing Anthony Yard to Joshua Boazzi. How come Anthony Yard's had two world title fights and Boazzi hasn't had none? Because Joshua Boazzi is an Olympian, right? Rio 2016 for Team GB, done fantastic. How come he hasn't had a world title shot? What's going on with Joshua Boazzi? But Anthony Yard, he's had two world title fights. And he never had that amateur experience of a Joshua Boazzi. He only had 12 amateur fights. So here's my thoughts on it. Again, I like both fighters. I have no horse in the race. And the best way to find out who's the best one between them, put them in the ring, right? That would be the best answer. But how I look at it is very simple. Joshua Boazzi, yes, an Olympian. And the Yard, no. And the Yard's had two world title shots. Joshua Boazzi hasn't had any. That's reality, that's fact. But Anthony Yard has a two-year head start on Boazzi. He turned pro two years before Joshua Boazzi. So there's that one. Also, Boazzi's on 16 fights and the yard 26 fights. So there's a 10-fight difference as well, okay? Now, you also have to look at it as well. And the yard in his two world title shots against Sergei Kovalev and Artur Betebiev, both of them were because and the yard WBO mandatory who did he beat to become mandatory for either one who did he go through eliminators final eliminators did he beat the best around to get the world title shots no he didn't he didn't that's reality so how did he get them well Queensby have a very good relationship with the WBO and I'm not knocking it if you can do it if you can pull a, pull a few strings you do so Big up to them and full credit to them, right? But that's why he's had two world title shots. That's why. Now, you could say for Betterbiev, well, he defeated Lyndon Arthur. Well, okay, but he lost to Lyndon Arthur. Because when you look at Anthony Yard, he lost to Kovalev. Then he fought some bin man, whatever. And he fought Lyndon Arthur. And he lost to Lyndon Arthur. Lost to Lyndon Arthur on the jab. He fought somebody else and he fought Lyndon Arthur again and he beat Lyndon Arthur in the rematch. He did. Now, I do feel a lot of that is because Lyndon Arthur didn't do anything like he'd done in the first fight. In the first fight, he used a jab, won the, won the fight on the jab. In the rematch, I don't know what he was doing, to be honest with you. No idea. But Anthony Yard beats him in the rematch. Then becomes to be very mandatory. We're like, well, how does that happen? That doesn't usually happen. That's not usually the way of things. Okay, either way, he fights better be so he gets his second world title shot. Now, when you look at it, you could say Anthony Yard, he's defeated Lyndon Arthur. Good win, it was a very good win, it was. Joshua Boazzi defeated Craig Richards. Craig Richards and Lyndon Arthur, for me, ran about the same kind of level, I would say. I like both of these guys, by the way. Same kind of level. Whereas with... Craig Richards, he fought Bivol, and he'd done better against Dimitri Bivol than Canelo did. He'd done better against Dimitri Bivol than Zerdo Ramirez did. Joshua Boazzi beat him. Joshua Boazzi has also been British light heavyweight champion. And Yard skipped all that. He was carrying around this WBO European title. What does that mean? It means absolutely nothing unless you pull in a few strings with the WBO. So that's why he's had two world title shots and Joshua Boazzi has not. Again, let's not forget, on numerous occasions, Team Boazzi, as in Matchroom, have offered to fight Anthony Yard. Now, what official offers actually went through, I don't know. All we've got is Eddie Hearn's word for, word for it, okay? But I've seen a lot of people just mentioning about the fact that they offered Anthony Yard, was it about um, a million pound or something, to fight Joshua Boazzi, but he ain't going to do that because he's Arthur Betterbiev's mandatory. He's not going to risk it and go fight Joshua Boazzi when he's got a world title shot. Okay, granted, that's fine. But it was the best part of a year he didn't fight. Okay, so that's the first one. But that wasn't the first time that 
Team Boatsy offered Andy Yard to fight. It was on more than one occasion over like the last couple of years. So it's not like Joshua Boatsy hasn't been trying to fight him. Okay? That's reality, right? Again, I don't know what official offers went through. I said, all we've got is Eddie Hearn's word for it. Maybe no offers went through. Maybe he weren't serious. I don't know. Okay? But to pretty much summarise, the best way to put it would be put them both in the ring and get it on. But we know why Andy Yards had two world title shots and, and Joshua Boatsy hasn't. We know why. They've been going down different routes with different sanctioning bodies. They have. Is Joshua Boatsy about to get the Bivol fight? Maybe. Maybe he will. Is it a bit early for him? Maybe. Has he looked great in his last couple of fights? No, not really. Is that down to because he's still adjusting to Virgil Hunter's way of training? Maybe. But anyway, listen, I like both fighters. Who who would win out of the two? I have no idea, to be honest. No idea. But I'd like to see it. I would. I think Anthony Yard done fantastic against Better BF. Can't take that away from him. I know I've come across a little bit in this video like I'm being negative towards him. I promise you I'm not. I'm just, I'm, I'm just telling you the way that I honestly see it. We know why he's had two world title shots. We know why. And, and it isn't because he went through final eliminator and fought the best around. That's reality. Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you next video.